pretty sure this side of my hair is longer than this side. I don't even know what to do about it. I'm just gonna ignore it and pretend like I have no idea. So, sorry that I did not upload yesterday's Afternoon in June video, but hello, hello! Today's Afternoon in June video is a collective haul video, and I will put up another video tomorrow so that we're back on the proper schedule of doing a video every even day in the month of June. So I'm sorry that that kind of messed us up, but starting tomorrow, we're gonna be back on the right schedule. So I have a collective haul for you guys from three different places, Brandy Melville, Lush, and Just Fab. So I will go ahead and start off with Just Fab. And I am someone that each month I pick either a shoe, a handbag, or a jewelry accessory that I'm going to use my monthly credit on. Um, and this month I did something which I don't typically do and that is get one of each. I had some extra credits that had just like accumulated in my account since I'm one of the style, like they call it an expert, I'm not a style expert, but style expert on their style panel. Um, so I had some extra credits and I was looking and first I knew I wanted the pair of shoes so I'll show you those first. These are the Peyton Heel in Nude. Look how cute these are. I love the little Mary Jane strap in the front. It almost gives it a little bit of like a, you know, younger feel and then you see the back and you're like, whoa, that is not young at all. That is a stiletto and I love the nude color and it's just so, so very pretty and I feel like this is going to be my nude shoe for the entire summer and probably the fall and winter and next summer and probably forever. Um, but I absolutely love these. So I saw these and I was like, those are definite. They're in my cart, I'm getting them. And then I was like, since I have extra credits, I'll look at some other items. If I fall in love with something, I'll get it. If not, I'll let my credit roll over to the next month. So I was looking at the bags and I saw this one and I thought that it was just going to be absolutely perfect for summertime and wear it as a crossbody. It is this right here and this is the Dare You bag in purple and it's big enough on the inside that I can fit like sunscreen and I even love how the inside is like a poppy color. It's like an electric blue. I love it so much that it's big enough to fit sunscreen, touch up beauty products, you know, your keys credit card, cash, whatever you want to take to the beach with you, even a book, which, by the way, word book reminds me that Beneath the Glitter is now available for paperback, and we are so excited about that. Elle and I knew that a lot of you were saying, you know, I can't get hardcover. My mom won't buy me hardcover books and stuff, and I know the exact same feeling. My mom was always very strict at the bookstore about saying get paperback books, so Beneath the Glitter is now available on shelves in paperback, and it's a reprint, so it has a lot of, like, the reviews in it and stuff, and it's just fun. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that that is now available and we are so very excited about that. Um, so yeah, you could even fit your paperback copy of Beneath the Glitter <laughs> in this bag, but I am loving this and when I saw it I was just like this is going to be the perfect bag for vacation this summer and stuff like that. So I was very excited about that. And then I saw an accessory that I really, really loved. I'm obsessed with Just Fab earrings. I don't know what it is. I'm wearing another pair right now that I got a few months ago. But this pair I saw and I was like, I need them. So I'm just going to hold up one earring instead of both because that would just be like repetitive. It reminds me of something tribal. I don't know why, but they're just these gorgeous dangly earrings that I feel like is going to give a little more trend to any outfit instead of just having like, you know, pretty little studs in or flower earrings or something. I feel like this has some harsher edges and it gives just a little bit more of like a tough vibe to it. So now I will show you guys what I got from Lush and I actually did not get any bath bombs or bath melts or bubble bars or anything like that which is typically what my Lush hauls always are. It's always the same thing. I get cinder bath bomb and stuff like that. I did not even let myself smell a bath bomb because I was like I know if I smell it I'm gonna want it but I have too many that I still need to use up and there's no point in spending money until I use those up. So I went in knowing I could not get a single bath bomb or bubble bar or anything like that, but I had a couple things on my list that I wanted to go ahead and pick up. And the first one was the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. Now this is considered the princess product. It's a luxurious product that you really do not need. It doesn't really, I don't know, I'll explain what it does, but it's like it's one of those things that you, you really do not need to use. But it's the last step you do in the shower and it smells like rose. Mm, and it comes in a pot like this and the very 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 last thing you do when you're in the shower after you've done everything else is you just apply a little bit onto your body just like you are washing your skin or something like that it's just kind of like a body wash consistency a little bit but it's more of like a lotiony um, and then you rinse it off lightly and when you get out of the shower you are supposed to pat yourself dry not like rub with a towel just pat yourself dry and then the idea behind it is you don't have to use lotion that it stays and it's so silky on your skin it basically is like a very heavy lotion so 
typically if you don't have this all you have to do is put lotion on when you get out of the shower but for some reason it's just one of those products that you feel so luxurious and pampering and it's not something I'm gonna do every day in the shower but maybe if I have a date or a special event and I want to be like really silky smooth I'll just go ahead and do this okay so not gonna put that back in there next thing I got is the lovely Jubilee's breast cream um, and this is actually a firming cream that is supposed to go on like your decollete like your chest all the way all over your boobies so that they don't sag and that's kind of like the idea behind but it I've heard really great things about actually putting it on under your eyes because it is a firming cream and so many people say they use it under their eyes they use it on their butt they use it on their thighs so I decided to get it to try it out and I used it on my eyes last night and I actually really liked it don't know if it did anything yet because it's only been one day but I liked the idea of it and it's just one of those things that it's like who needs a breast cream but it just feels like such an awesome thing and they say that you age first like in your neck and your chest and your hands so I've always been using hand cream and stuff I'm like super religious about it but your chest and your neck this is just a really great cream to use for it and it's made for larger areas so you're not going to be using you know some cream that comes in a tiny tiny little tube for such an in or for such an expensive amount and then you feel like you're wasting it like on your chest or something this is actually made for larger areas so it's not as expensive and I'm very excited because I know I'm only 20 but I feel like if you don't start like preventing wrinkles then when they come it's hard to get them away so I am already preventing wrinkles which sounds crazy to me um, the next thing I got is mask of Magnum Mente and it's a face and back mask and it smells like extreme peppermint I'm not talking about like oh yeah I can smell the peppermint it's like you open it and you're like whoa peppermint just slapped me in the face go ahead and hit a candy cane over my head so this is a mask that is a clay based mask so it is going to draw out impurities as it hardens on your skin and Elle saw this and she was like oh my goodness this brings back memories and I was like what do you mean she was like that was like one of my first Lush products if not my first ever and I was like I've never even tried that and she freaked out and she was like you have to get the small tube and at her tub and I actually like this because it's their only face mask I believe that you don't have to keep in the refrigerator and it lasts for three months instead of three weeks so I definitely prefer this to their other face masks um, next thing I got now this is kind of embarrassing I don't know maybe I should tell you guys this I got silky underwear which is a dusting powder it's a light sophisticated jasmine scented powder with added cocoa butter to dust over the skin leaving it soft smooth and seriously sexy now the idea of this is say you are working out and you happen to sweat down there this is supposed to be um, a preventative and a smell good item but I've heard great things about using this actually like between your breasts or underneath to help with sweating there and also just dusting it in your panty drawer and that way you um, just kind of keep them smelling sexy and fresh and stuff like that and I don't know there's just something exciting about this product to me which is kind of embarrassing and this might be way too TMI. I, know, I like to work out a lot and go on hikes and maybe a little dabble between the booty cheeks is going to do me well I don't really know though uh, but I thought it was a cool concept and idea and I wanted to try it out and then I got two other items that I've heard really good things about the first one is the tea tree toner they used to have a serum called saving face that they discontinued and I literally I want to write a letter to Lush headquarters and tell them you discontinued my favorite product saving face literally changed my skin they discontinued it but I do know that their toners and stuff work really really well for me so I went ahead to get the tea tree toner oil and this is for oily um, acne prone skin it says spot prone they need pimples they're trying to be nice so yes I went ahead and got that and then the other thing I got is the Gre grease lightning spot treatment so this strikes the spot with lightning precision super effective tea tree and witch hazel gel to clean acne prone skin and remove oil so basically I am using this as a spot treatment on some little acne areas that I have and I am very excited about that and now I'm going to move on to Brandy Melville and I don't know how long this video is getting because for some reason my camera is not telling me the time so went to Brandy Melville very excited I had an awesome girl named Yarden that was actually helping me and she checked me out and she said that she had watched my videos before so I wanted to give her a shout out if you guys go to the Brandy Melville in Santa Monica California uh, say hi to her so first thing I'll start off with is the two rings that I got 
Um, these were $3 and $5. I just spent like five minutes trying to get my camera to zoom in on these and for some reason I guess they're just so tiny and dainty it's not but the first thing is a ring that's a rose gold infinity knot and it's super cute and then the second one is a rhinestone arrow that wraps around so it's kind of like the end of the arrow meets the beginning of the arrow. I don't know why that would not zoom in but that was really frustrating. Okay so then I got one, two, three, four, five clothing items. First thing is the tank top that I'm wearing which I love the next thing I got is the I love you to the moon and back tank top which everyone raves about and I seriously so many of my friends and um, just people that I see walking around have this tank top it's like one of those staples and I saw it and I was like I love that it's cute if you wear like a bright like hot pink bandeau top underneath or if um, just like going to the beach or something I feel like that would be really cute because the bathing suit would pink out peek out underneath because it's like really sheer thing I got is this crop top so it looks like this right here and I am actually very excited about that it is um, like has a cool detail on the back it's like strappy on the back right there but I feel like this is going to be cute the only time I'd let myself wear this though is if I was wearing like a high-waisted skirt or shorts and then a jacket over top because I feel like if you're wearing skirt or shorts you're showing off your legs and then if you're showing off a little bit of your mid drift as well because you know this only comes to like here and then your shorts only come to here so you're showing like a line of skin in between then I want to cover up my arms or shoulders I don't know what it is I've just I've always felt like you either need to cover up like your shoulders and maybe some of your arms or your legs and I feel like it's different in like a flowy um, sundress when it's just like a spaghetti strap you can see all your arms and all your legs but if you're showing your midriff too there's something about it that I'm only gonna wear this if I'm wearing something high-waisted with a jacket over top of it but I thought it would be really cool just to have a tiny little you know slab of skin showing a slab of skin that does not sound sexy at all and then I got a pair of high-waisted distressed shorts I have a pair of high-waisted shorts like this but um, they aren't distressed at all they're very just like you know clean cut so I wanted to get a distressed pair and this pair actually did make my butt look okay a lot of high-waisted shorts literally just make my butt look like woo, like flat like pancake and I don't have the best butt to begin with so I want to enhance it um, but this one actually looked like the way the pockets are situated and stuff looks really great around it so I got this and then the last thing I got in my entire haul is this dress and it's very complicated so it's cute on the front it has a little skater skirt and stuff but then it is crisscross and then open in the back so I thought that this would be a really cute just like beach cover-up or one of those things that when I'm on vacation literally you can throw it on you don't have to worry about matching your shirt to your skirt or anything like that I feel like dresses are just so easy in the summer because you throw them on and then you are GTG good to go um, okay did I just say that wow I did if you've gone shopping recently film a haul video and leave it as a video response to this because I would love to see it so I will talk to you guys later